The high altiplano of Bolivia is almost desolate. It's very difficult for people to grow food up at this 13,000 foot elevation. But it's also the location of a huge archaeological complex called Tiwanaku. In the foreground is the Acapana Pyramid, or the remains of it, and off in the distance is what is called the Kalasasaya. Now this so-called pyramid looks like it's been covered in mud and in fact there's a theory that the site was destroyed several thousand years ago by such an event. Here we can see partial reconstruction of the seven original levels of the Acapana and seven of course is a very sacred number in many cultures. The Kalasasai is a huge complex and you can see the standing stones they are original whereas the walls were reconstructed in the 1980s by archaeologists. And here you see the versatility of using a quadcopter <clears throat> gives us an incredible view that is impossible to see on the ground. And now Pachacutec is approaching what is called the subterranean temple. The standing stones are immense and you can see the amount of weathering on them indicates that they've been standing in their present location for several thousand years. Most archaeologists believe that Tiwanaku began approximately 2,000 years ago by the Tiwanaku culture and was abandoned about a thousand years later. However, other theories speculate that uh, the original constructions, megalithic, at Tiwanaku could be at least 15,000 years old, much older than any known culture according to conventional history. However, the evidence that you are looking at suggests very much that history as we know it stretches far back in time, much farther than what conventional archaeologists believe. Unfortunately, in the 1980s, archaeologists attempted to reconstruct the Acapana Pyramid and thought that it was adobe, when in fact the whole seven levels were constructed out of stone. A red sandstone, which is the quarry, is at least 10 kilometers away. And you can see how tightly fitting the stonework was, but as well on the left, you see mud, evidence that it was covered over by a huge mud wave in the distant past. And the theory is that the entire Altiplano tilted due to some kind of massive catastrophe <clears throat> causing the southern end to be pushed down, the northern end to be pushed up, and the waters of Lake Titicaca, including the mud, to spill over and basically bury the Tiwanaku site. So it is possible that Tiwanaku was left abandoned for several thousand years and then about the time of Christ was rediscovered by what is called the Tiwanaku culture who did partial reconstruction and used this ancient site for their own purposes. And this is the Kalasasaya with Pachacutec rising out of the subterranean temple. This entire wall system has been reconstructed except for the standing stones and the staircase which shows incredible weathering. But all of the stones you see were reassembled by archaeologists. So we don't actually know what it originally looked like. And here is the famous Gate of the Sun. Most people think there's only one Gate of the Sun but in fact there are four of them distributed all over the site itself 
and this is not the original place where the gate of the sun was found. The problem with that is that it obscures history, so it makes it very difficult for us to figure out the exact placement of original stones. Now what is incredible about the Gate of the Sun and the other three and many other remnants at Tiwanaku is that they are made of andesite and the quarry for that andesite is 70 kilometers away near a little town called Copacabana. Notice the break in the gate. That is original and most likely the result of a massive catastrophic event. You can see on top that it was originally part of most likely some kind of wall system. Now thankfully I've been able to use the quadcopter Pachacutec at many locations including Oyente Tambo and Sacsayhuaman in Peru, not Machu Picchu because it's a restricted site but many other locations and you will be able to find on my YouTube channel numerous videos now and in the future that will be utilizing this amazing quadcopter technology to be able to allow us to see sites like they have never been seen before.